Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Placement Guidance. As many of us are having essential exam tomorrow, so I have come up with a video on pseudocodes which are previously asked in essential exam, which is held on December. So I will be uploading more videos related to questions which is previously asked in essential. So subscribe my channel and like the video. So these are the previously asked pseudocodes. This is the pseudocode integer a b c this is how they will give the pseudocodes and this the set a is equals to 4 b is equals to 2 c is equals to 3 that means set means that they have assigned the values to the variables and now if condition is given that if a plus b is greater than 0 so 4 plus 2 that is 6 is 6 greater than 0 yes so we will come in inside this if condition now we will check this if condition that if b that means 2 minus c uh, the value of c is 3 the value of a is 4 so what it is saying that 2 minus 3 plus 4 is equals to 7 so 2 minus 7 it will be minus 5 so is minus 5 greater than uh, 4 plus 3 that is 7 so is minus 5 greater than 7 no so we will not go inside this if condition this if ends here so we will go to the next if the, and now we will check that this 2 plus the value of c is 3 the value of a is 4 so here what we will do like 3 minus 4 is equals to minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 so here it is saying that is 1 greater than uh, a is 4 and c is 3 so is 1 is greater than 1 now again the condition is false so we will not go inside the if condition and this ends here so now we will update the value of b directly we will not update the value of c because this if conditions are false so we will directly come here that b is equals to b plus c so the value of b previously is 2 so now it will be 2 plus the value of c is 3 so the value of 5 will become so the value of b become 5 so the new value of b is 5 now and what we have to print like uh, the value of a is 4 so 4 plus the value of b is 5 and the value of c is 3 so 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 3 is 12 so our answer for the pseudocode is 12 so we will mark the our option 12 now we will come see the second pseudocode that is integer a b c d like we have given 4 integer variables and they have set the values of a and b so the value of a is b 2 and the value of b is 2 so now they have given for each c from 0 to 2 this means like a loop will be from 0 till c is less than equals to 2 and c will be incremented by 1 it will be like normal for loop it will be like normal for loop okay so now see the value for c is 0 at the starting so now see uh, this is a nested loop because we have a for inside this for loop so uh, this is a nested loop and this for ends here and this for ends here okay so the value of c at the starting is 0 so now they have update the value of a previously the value of a is 2 now the value of a will be 1 so now see uh, we, uh, another loop will be uh, of d which which will be from 1 so for the value of c that is for the value of c of 0 the value of d will be from 1 to 3 and we have another variable which we have to update in this for loop that is the value of b so the value of b in the starting is 2 so now we will come inside this loop see the d the value of d is 1 so for uh, so we will come inside this for loop so b is equals to b plus 2 so we will increment our b by 2 so now the value of b will be 
फोर ओके नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ डी विल बी टू लाइक इट विल इंक्रीमेंट सो फॉर द वैल्यू ऑफ टू टू इज लेस देन इक्वल्स टू थ्री येस सो अगेन वी विल कम इन साइड दिस फॉर लूप सो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी विल इंक्रीमेंट बाई टू सो नाउ इट विल बी सिक्स नाउ सी द वैल्यू ऑफ डी विल इंक्रीमेंट बाय वन इट विल बी थ्री सो इज थ्री लेस देन इक्वल्स टू थ्री येस थ्री इज लेस देन इक्वल्स टू थ्री सो अगेन वी विल कम इन साइड दिस लूप एंड वी विल इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी सो द वैल्यू ऑफ बी विल बी नाउ एट सो नाउ वी विल कम आउट ऑफ दिस बिकॉज नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ डी विल बिकम फोर एंड इज फोर लेस देन इक्वल्स टू थ्री नो सो वी विल कम आउट ऑफ दिस लूप एंड सी वी विल नाउ इंक्रीमेंट द वैल्यू ऑफ अ सी सो नाउ द वैल्यू ऑफ सी विल बी वन is one less than two yes so we will come inside this for loop so now the a, uh, the value of a will re remain one now we will see this for loop like uh, now again the value of d will be from one again the value of d uh, will be from one so now see is uh, is one less than three yes so uh, the value of b is at this time the value of b is eight C one is less than equals to three. Yes, so we will increment our value of b. So it by two. So it will be ten. Now we will increment the value of d. So now we will check is two less than equals to three. Yes, two is less than equals to three. Now again we will increment the value of b. Now it will be twelve. Okay, so now again we have to uh, uh, increment the value of d, which will be now three. So is three is less than equals to three? Yes, three is less than equals to three. So again, we will come inside this loop. So it will increment the value of b by two. So now it will be fourteen. Now what we have to do? We have to increment the value of d, which will be now four. Is four less than equals to three? No. So we will come out of this loop, and again we will see this loop. Now the value of c will be. Earlier it was one. So now we will increment the value of c. Uh, C so it will be two. So now C two is less than equals to two. Yes, we will come inside this loop. So is uh, now the value of A will remain one. Now C again this loop will run. So again the value of D will be from one. Okay, so now C this one is less than equals to three. Yes. So now the value of B at this time is fourteen. Is one less than equals to three? Yes. So we will increment the value of b, which will be now sixteen. Now we will increment the value of d, which will be two. Is two less than equals to three? Yes. Two is less than equals to three. So what we will do? We will increment the value of two, which will be now eighteen. Now we, what we will do? We will increment the value of d, which will be three. So is three less than equals to three? Yes, it is less than equals to three. So we will come inside this for loop. Now it will increment the value of b by two. So now it will be twenty. Uh, now the value of d will increment by one. So now it will be four. Is four less than equals to three? No. So we will come out of this loop. Now we will come here. Now the value of c will be incremented by one, which will be three. So now c three is less than equals to two. No. So we will come out of this for loop, whole for loop. So now what we have to do? We have to print a plus two. Uh, sorry, a plus b. So now c the value of a is one, and the value of b we are getting at the end is twenty. So one plus twenty, it will be equals to twenty one. So our answer for this pseudo code will be twenty one. This is how you have to solve the pseudo codes. You have to solve by step by step. Otherwise, you will get an uh, like you will do some mistake between uh, in between. So just do it by step by step. That how I explained. Do like that only. Now we will see the third pseudo code. C. Uh, like it is given uh, two uh, integer variables uh, a is equals to one and b is equals to two. Now our loop is from uh, i is equals to zero, starting from the zero, and it will be till uh, less than equals to six, and it is incrementing by two. So now see, this is i, okay? This is a is equals to a plus b plus i. So now see, this for loop ends here. So this is all inside this for loop only. So at the starting, the value of i 
is 0 first we will write all the variables like this and the value of a is 1 and the value of b at the starting is 2 we will write it like this now see uh, first the value of i is 0 is 0 less than equals to 6 so we will come inside this loop so a is equals to a plus b plus i so see a is equals to a plus b that is 1 plus 2 plus i so 1 plus 2 plus 0 is equals to 3 so the value of a will become 3 now again we have to change the value of a a is equals to a plus b see now the value of a is 3 so 3 plus 2 that will be now 5 then we have to change the value of b which will be a minus b so the value of a is 5 and the value of b is 2 so the 5 minus 2 the value of b will be now 3 okay so now we are what we have to do we have to print b so now we, uh, we will print b here that is the value of b is 3 now we will increment our i by 2 now the value of i is 2 now uh, is 2 less than equals to 6 yes 2 is less than equals to 6 so we will come inside this for loop now we will again change the value of a like a is, a is equals to a plus b plus i so 5 plus 3 plus 2 which will be 10 now again we have to change the value of a a is equals to a plus b so the value of a is 10 plus 3 so the value of a will be 13 now we will change the value of b b is equals to a minus b so a 13 minus 3 is equals to 10 are you uh, seeing some pattern in this like it is swapping the value of a and b like first the value of a is uh, not swapping like the value of a will go to the value of b at some point it is doing like this the value of a will be replaced by b so now see we have done this uh, like the value of b is changed now what we have to do we have to print b so what we will print now the value of b is 10 so we will print 10 now we know that this from among these two options only our answer we will have our answer so now see uh, like so we have done till here so now we, what we will do we will increment our i by 2 so now it will be the value of i will be 4 is 4 less than equals to 6 yes so now we will come inside this for loop so a is equals to a plus b plus i see 13 plus 4 plus 10 it will be 20 7 so uh, then we will do a plus a is equals to a plus b so 27 plus 10 it will be 37 then what we have to do we have to do b is equals to a minus b so 37 minus 10 it will be 27 so the value of updated value of b is 27 and then what we have to do we have to just print b so uh, the value of b will be 20 7 now we will increment the value of i by 6 is 6 less than equals to 6 yes so we will again come inside this loop a is equals to a plus b plus i so 37 plus 27 plus 6 it will be 70 okay so now then we are what we have to do a is equals to a plus b so 70 plus 27 it will be equals to 97 then we have to do b is equals to a minus b so the value of a is 97 and the value of b is 27 so 97 minus 27 it will be 70 and what we have to do then then we have to print the value of b that is 70 now we will increment the value of i by 2 which will be 8 now see that 8 is less than equals to 6 so the condition will be false so we will come out of this for loop so at the end what value we get we got 3 10 27 and 70 which is option c so this is will this is our answer thank you for watching this video hope you got all the pseudocodes which i have explained do subscribe and like the video thank you